Okay, we're out here at the base. This is right adjacent to the splash pad. I just got done talking to Brandy, little Michael's mom. And you know, there was a man that was seen in this area by the CCTV, by the splash pad. Now he was seen walking towards the basin. Now this is the basin that he was seen walking towards. Now this was caught on camera and this is the suspect they are looking for. Now he would have came in this way, follow me. Through this gate over here. But at the time that little monkey went missing, there was no gate there. So he would have came in through here, but would have either circled to the left or to the right. But with houses being to the left, most likely he came over here to the right of the basement. We're just gonna take a little walk out here, look around, you know, and this this is where that suspect was heading towards this direction. But there was also a white vehicle, a pilot. Now some people are speculating that someone dropped this man off and they were waiting for him in the white pilot and he grabbed Monkey, May jumped in the vehicle and fled. Now this white vehicle has not been seen since in this neighborhood. Now that's the crazy thing. Now this basin, it all wraps around and it all goes, ends up down here in the back down here near the Snake River. So he was definitely heading this way. And as you can see, these trails are used. Now the sign says no motor vehicles, no camping. So, but it don't say no trespassing. And as you can see, vehicle trails all up and down through here. Now, I'm not sure if these are four wheeler trails, dirt bikes. I have seen a lot of kids out here on dirt bikes, four wheelers, things of that nature. Pretty rough terrain for a vehicle, but you can easily get a four by four truck car through here pretty, pretty easily. And of course this goes back, goes pretty far back into the woods back here. But if you was a person trying to get away without a lot of people seeing you, this definitely would be the way to go. Now, is it possible? That, you know, I don't see monkey crossing this. So if he was to come down through here, like I said, he's, this fence wasn't here when monkey went missing. So if he was to come through here, he really couldn't have crossed over here. And I believe there's a ditch line that runs the same way on the other side. Okay. This is a drainage ditch here. Um, now, Brandy did tell me there was hundreds of searchers out here. People on everything, four-wheelers, police, rescue people, scouring these woods for plenty of time. And that what, that's what makes them believe that nothing bad has tragically happened to Monkey, because if he did, he'd be pretty easily to find. But that don't seem to be the case. He don't seem to be nowhere around here. And it leads us more towards somebody has grabbed little monkey and taken off from this neighborhood. But we're gonna do our best to find out who done that. All right, we're still out here in the basin. As you see, there's a lot of uh, drainage that pours out into the basin right through here. But there's also little shacks, little outbuildings and things like that. And we just gonna take a look since we're here, we might as well, it never hurts to look. All right, looks clear. A lot of stickers. All right, 
As you can see, the drainage goes down. So I've been looking in these drain pipes. You know, of course, with that much force, there's nothing in that pipe. It, you would have to be wedged up in there, which I don't think would be the case. So this heads back towards the Snake River, and uh, we're going to find our way to the Snake River. Come on, guys. What's up guys, Dolly here. As you see, we went down the path all the way around and we made it down to the Snake River. Now, I do know Brandy and her old man, Tyler, they, 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 they enjoy coming out here and they would come to this area right out here. Matter of fact, Brandy herself is the one that told me how to actually get down to the Snake River here. Now, this wraps all the way around their neighborhood. Now. I don't know if Bucky made it this far out this way, but it's not crazy to think he's been to this location right here before. Okay, so we're gonna continue to look out here. This is one of those cases, like a needle in a haystack, but we're gonna continue to search, continue to do what we can do for little Monkey Vaughn. Okay, so I'm out here at the Snake River on the hunt searching i've been i've been looking up and down the wood line here you never know if michael vaughn could have came out of his house somehow ended up in one of these fields and something tragically happened you never know but this for searchers there was hundreds of people out here searching but this place is so big that even like in the summer wells case hundreds of people it just ain't much i mean you need it's so big so as you can see behind me it's the snake river a lot of current if you used to fall into this river quickly it would sweep you out so uh, pretty nice beautiful day today on the river not too many people out kayaking or nothing water's pretty quiet but you can see you can see the rapids in it and that will quickly sweep you away especially a kid you was to fall into that you would be a goner <laughs> 